Hello. Today's Torah portion is Yitro, Jethro. And this week, we will be reading the Ten Commandments. Now, for people all over the world, Jews and Christians who read the Bible and hold it sacred, the Ten Commandments is important. It's very important. This is the revelation of God to the nation of Israel at Sinai for the first time and the most direct way ever since. One of the things that I've noticed recently as I've uh, had many wonderful relationships with Christians is that Christians and Jews count these Ten Commandments slightly differently. The Ten Commandments begin, I am the Lord your God who have took you out of Egypt. For Jews, that is the first commandment. However, most Christians don't start the count at that verse, but take it to the next verse. You shall not have any other gods before me. And then they count the next verse, that you shall not make any graven images, any pictures, as a separate commandment. Jews, however, see that differently. I am the Lord your God who took you out of Egypt. That in and itself is a commandment. What is the commandment? To believe in the one God. It's not enough that you should not have other gods or that you should not uh, create any images and worship them. It is that you first have to believe in God, the one God, the all-powerful God who took you out of Egypt. Now, I think this is very significant, not just because you have the one God and then you have a negative, don't make other gods. But in fact, if you look at the third verse, do not make any pictures or graven images, that is not an, an all-encompassing um, uh, commandment not to draw pictures, not to have art, not to have sculptures, but it comes within the contents, uh, within the context of do not have any other gods before me. In other words, it's all one commandment and it is very clear. This is the commandment that is not only must you believe in the one God, but the second commandment, you may not worship any other gods in addition to God, the God of Israel, the God who took you out of Egypt. And that not worshiping other gods includes idols, includes pictures, includes sculptures. You want to draw a picture that has nothing to do with worship because you want to draw a picture of something beautiful? There's no problem with that because it's not idolatry. This has been a few words from the Bible, from the heart of biblical Israel. Good evening.